you're thinking, ah, it's pitch black. The tower's closed. Let me just make my calls. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you have to keep that in mind and, you know, listen to the frequency. Is that common? It's happened. It's happened uh, quite a bit. It's, it's also impressive when you have people running around. And, and I'll give you an example. Uh, with, with a fixed wing, it's easier because you might catch them on ground. Hey, tower's still open. Oh. But a, a helicopter that goes, yeah, this is a uh, helicopter, one, two, three, four, five, take a out for departure. You got some money, finally, the guy's just, dude, hey, no, hey, we're still open, we're still open. So, it's just something you want to watch, you know, 7 a.m., 7 p.m., we're open. 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., we're closed. Uh, questions about the hours of operations? I don't see it changing anytime soon. Okay, early turnouts. This is something the boss wants to ask you, especially for helicopter pilots. Let us know. Just. Like I said, traffic permitting, man, you can do, hey, I want to go to Convention Center, then I want to hover around El Mojaro, then I want to go to Catania Point, but I want to cross Roman Niner every time you do that. If I have nobody, have fun, have at it, but when, you, when you're asking for an early turnout, just, you know, let us know, don't just do it, don't surprise us, and uh, we don't assign altitudes. I was talking to you folks about that. We don't assign altitudes. If you're telling me, I'm going to be at a 500 feet, I'm going to tell you, I don't assign altitudes. That's Pilot discretion. You guys should know the minimums and where you're supposed to be. I'm not going to prove it. Very little traffic from the hours of 1 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it has an 11,700 foot runway. And uh, they're not that busy. If, 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 if you like to go somewhere where you can get your practice approaches done, where there's not going to be other traffic that's going to get in your way, where you're not going to be uh, encroaching in other people's airspace, <laughs> That's the place to go. Okay. Uh, place for lunch too. Place for lunch too. Great. Beautiful weather. Uh, we have about uh, ninety-five percent of our days are VFR uh, days, so the weather's pretty good. Wind picks up in the afternoons. It goes. Uh, it'll gust up to like about uh, thirty knots, but uh, but it's right down the road. So beautiful place. Um, I'm going to give you a brief on uh, Avenida and uh, what we do and the things that are coming up here uh, in the future. Uh, our operating hours are from 0700 to 2100 and we have extended hours as requested by the uh, operators and what it is is that we have Lufthansa cargo logs and uh, marked air that fly with instructor and I've been flying with different instructors um, because they all have something a different perspective on things. Now that makes it, from my perspective as a pilot, I freak out a little bit because I'm always trying to do exactly what they want to do and I never figure out what this one wants to do or the next one, but you know, that's a, that's a short-term thing that we work that out. Okay? Do you have anything else you want to say about the wings? Go for it. <laughs> no. but the best thing uh, is a, you see, when, when you are a uh, commercial pilot working for a 135 or 121 operator, you're requiring six months to do some uh, recertification or whatever. So uh, uh, this is the, uh, the best thing to have for general aviation. And I think uh, ideally we can do, do it every two years. But I just do it because that's what I want to do. It'd be great to be, if you can do it every six months and you have something. And I think, Carlos, when we did them, they were really some of the first wings ones you signed off. Maybe not the first ones, right? For me, it was the first. Right. So he now's done that, and it was, you know, the first time you do something, you're always kind of figuring out, well, how do I do the, the paperwork? But he'll fly with you. Or I mean, we got lots of people who fly. Any flight instructor can give wings credits. So go to the flight instructor you used to fly with. It doesn't have to be somebody special. Just go to the one you're used to. Or go to somebody else. The instructor has to have uh, an account or something. No. Yeah. They all have. They all.
cycle time for the IFR database. So I gotta cycle my switch swap to this. Um, and I wanna let you walk around.